back to my channel. Happy 2017. Happy spring. <laughs> Happy spring here in New York City, you guys. Um, I know it's been a while since I did a DIY with you guys or a video period. Sorry about that. I was in the manhunt for a new camera and unfortunately I'm going to have to wait until later this month to get a new camera. So as if right now, as of right now, sorry, I'm using my iPhone 6s again. Um, if this video hopefully this video comes out if it doesn't that's because once again complications with the camera but um other than that let's jump right into this diy and i'm going to show you what it's all about and i can't wait and i hope you like it and it's a big surprise because i waited so long <laughs> this is my 2017 diy for the spring because it's popping outside check out this highlight with this sun you can't really see it because it's too bright but can you see it now no no okay Whatever, let's jump into it. <laughs> are some rhinestone patches I got these from the fashion districts here in New York City in Manhattan uh, which is on 7th Avenue Fashion Avenue of course and this lovely beautiful um rhinestone pearl patch here these are gonna be like my wings for the back of my jacket I think they're so pretty I'm just gonna see if they can glisten in the Sun can you see that you see how pretty that is oh, oh my god I can't wait like just look at that I'm gonna be like bling blinging down the block in New York City because you know we're all that over here so <laughs> yeah so you're just gonna need two packs of these um I'll leave the prices below because you can also buy these off of Amazon um as you can see here just no secret I paid about $28 for the wing patches so it's fine with me um not so pricey and about $18 here for these two rhinestone patches here I'm just trying to show you guys the sparkles because the sun's starting to go down. It's five o'clock here in New York, but it's okay. Okay, so what you're gonna need are your patches, um, any style, any color, um, any size, some scissors in case you want to cut your patches up uh, just to piece them together, and some E6000 glue. Now I got this idea once again from my homegirl Amber Shaw. What's up, girl? <laughs> so I got this idea from Amber Shaw. She's amazing. She always uses um, E6000 glue in all of her DIYs. And you're also going to need, of course, a denim jacket like this one here. So first things first, you're gonna take everything out of the pack, out of the packaging. So this is how the rhinestones look out of the packaging. So beautiful and sparkly, and I love it. And the E6000 glue. Take this out of the pack and that's what i use the scissors for to help me get it out the pack so next things next <laughs> i guess okay so next you're just going to place your rhinestone patches where needed on the jacket and i'm placing them here on the back of the jacket like a wing so i'm just going to use my bed for right now so as i am trying to figure out the pattern that i'm going to lay my wings i will start to glue them down I mean, I think that looks kind of cool, right? Just so you guys can get a good look at that. And then these bad boys here are gonna go down the sleeves, like so. Yep. And one on the other side. Okay. So this is how my jacket's supposed to come out. Hopefully it comes out the way I want. You guys, I will not be putting this jacket on today. It will have to be tomorrow because I need this to dry overnight. Um, yeah, I just need this glue to dry overnight because I don't think it's gonna dry today. But yeah, I just want it to be like sturdy. The thing that kind of sucks that I'm a little nervous about, as you can see here, it's kind of glossy. Just let me focus that. So as you can see here, it's kind of glossy. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a problem. I don't know if it's going to stick because of how glossy it is. But let's just hope that that's not a problem. Look how pretty she is. One more time. Just want to show you how pretty this is. Like, this is insane. This is just so fancy. Um, yeah, if anyone would like for me to make this jacket for them, like, I honestly don't mind. So just hit me up in my social sites, which is at Ms. Luirich. You know where to find me. Okay. All right, I'm running out of breath because I'm moving around trying to place these patches, but um, 
yeah you guys let's jump right into this DIY denim jacket Kylie Jenner inspired Kanye West inspired denim bling bling jacket <laughs> one I'm gonna do is the sleeve you guys I'm just gonna start with the sleeve I'm a little nervous because I want it to bend the right way but I think it will so let's do this start this little DIY project I'm just gonna turn her over and just be very careful while I'm doing this Out of this uh, E6000 glue because yeah you can see my fingers kind of gross um yeah so sleeves are down next to go is the back my wings as you can see so let me brighten that up for you guys yep next to go is my wings it, sorry it's really bright <laughs> uh yep next is go is my wings and um I don't know if anyone's told you guys but this stuff smells terrible <laughs> so um I messed up a little bit because I mean, just note that this is your first DIY making a diamond jacket that um, it's good to measure it. So I got kind of nervous. So if you can see, this is about, I don't know, this is a bit far from the shoulder, let's say that, right? And this is kind of close, as you can see. So let's just hope nobody really notices that. <laughs> um, yeah, who cares? First time. But I'm just going to try and get these wings down and perfect and I'll be right back with you guys. I can't really do this without my tri with my tripod because it won't show. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do this freestyle. Um, let me just do the first wing. <laughs> already glued down and for the second wing you guys remember I showed you I had the distressed uh, rip right here and I was afraid it would seep through well I have a trick for that too I used the plastic that these came inside of and I just slipped the plastic underneath the jacket and I hid it underneath <laughs> the jacket so the way if you can hear it yep there you go I hid the plastic there so that way you know it doesn't seep through it'll just get on the plastic and I can pull it up so yeah so that's glued down. I'm going to glue this one down and I'll show you guys the final results. And yeah, I won't be able to put it on today because it has to dry like this is drying. And I may go back over with it with some glue to make sure it stays down. It smells really bad and my nails are getting messed up and I'm sad. But it's cool. You know, it's for the best. It's fashion. So this is what fashion does to you. <laughs> you ruin things to look great, you guys. I swear. Be right back. She's done. She's done. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. Oh my god. My denim jacket is finally finished. Well, she's not fully finished because I decided I want to add more rhinestones in the front of this jacket. So this is going to be a continuing DIY, but so far so good. I'm in love with her. I've never said that about anyone. <laughs> I'm only joking, but yep, she's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
the New York people what's up y'all and um yeah it's a little bright and sunny in here right now but yes I'm excited I'm glad I made this DIY I look crazy in the sun um <laughs> I'm just trying to like block out the sun okay so blocking out the sun I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning into my channel as always and shout out to New York uh, people and everyone else across the world. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for joining my family. I love you XOXO and I can't wait to try this jacket on tomorrow. Peace out. Salute <laughs>